peace be with you. First of all, I'd like to thank you, uh, each and every one of you, for all the feedback and the comments uh, you've been giving for over the last three uh, three weekends. Thank you very much. And to be honest, I wanted to spare you this. I just thought I'll send you the voice recording. Uh, however, many of you have expressed an interest uh, for a video, and some people even suggested uploading it onto YouTube. I must admit, I'm not an IT professional. I can just about manage to use a laptop. So this is my first uh, meager attempt, really, to do this video recording uh, just on my laptop. Uh, see what you think. Of course, I, uh, I could do with some help and guidance. I'm sure there are a lot of professionals out there listening and watching this. Uh, please uh, let me know how uh, do I go about it. I don't even have a name. Apparently, I need a name if I wanted to have a YouTube channel. So again, uh, I would welcome any suggestions from you uh, with a name, uh, if you could think of one, and uh, the best way to, to make these uh, videos, really. Uh, by God's grace, I'm hoping to do this on a weekly uh, basis and also add other things uh, as we go along. But end of the day, the, the main objective or the focus is not on me. Nothing is done f is not for my glory, but everything I do and say it is for the greater glory of God. So now let us begin with the, uh, with the readings for the Sunday readings. We are now on the fourth Sunday of Lent 2021. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The first reading is from the second book of the Chronicles. All the leaders of Judah, the priests and the people too, added infidelity to infidelity, copying all the shameful practices of the nations and defiling the temple of God, which he himself had consecrated in Jerusalem. Lord God of their ancestors continuously sent them word through his messengers, because he felt sorry for his people and his dwelling. But they ridiculed the messengers of God. They despised his words. They laughed at his prophets until God's wrath with his people became so fierce that there was no further remedy. He burned down the temple of God, demolished the walls of Jerusalem, burned all its palaces to the ground, and destroyed everything of value in it. And those who had escaped the sword, he deported to Babylon, where they were enslaved by him and his descendants until the rise of the kingdom of Persia to fulfill God's prophecy through Jeremiah. Until the country has paid off its Sabbaths, it'll lie fallow for all the days of its desolation, until the 70 years are complete. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, to fulfill the word of God through Jeremiah, God roused the spirit of Cyrus king of Persia, to issue a proclamation and to have it publicly displayed throughout his kingdom. Cyrus, king of Persia, says this, Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth and has appointed me to build him a temple in Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Whoever there is among you of all his people, May his God be with him. Let him go up. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we come to our gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. As Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. 
But this is how God loved the world. He gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. For God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be judged. But whoever does not believe is judged already, because that person does not believe in the name of God's only Son. And the judgment is this. Though the light has come into the world, people have preferred darkness to the light, because their deeds were evil. And indeed, everybody who does wrong hates the light and avoids it, to prevent his action from being shown up. But whoever does the truth comes out into the light, so that what he is doing may plainly appear as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.